Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from RobNonFo.com with a quick video on how you can turn your Canon 350D digital SLR or any digital SLR kind of into a film camera or at least give you a little bit of the experience that you would get um, with a black and white black and white film camera. So one of the beauties is when you're going out shooting black and white film or, or film in general is you, you, you kind of bop along and you take your photographs um, you've got really no idea how they're going to come out because obviously there's no screen you've got to wait to have them developed and when you have them developed um, it, it's a really nice surprise isn't it and what that means is as you're out and about you spend well you don't spend any time chimping you know when you, you, you take a picture and then you look at the back and you're like oh I'm not quite sure about that and you, you kind of get a little bit caught up and it slows you down and you, and you don't move on and then whenever you get a spare five minutes you know you, 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 you've got your camera out and you're um, you know you're looking at the pictures on the back instead of um, looking at what's going in front of you and chances are you'll probably miss something really good because you're chimping and obviously with film you don't get that because you're out there and snapping away I mean the disadvantage is the fact that you can't see what you've done so if one of the settings is wrong so for example if this has got 400 speed film in it and the ASA setting is for 160 then I'm going to have uh, some really underexposed photographs but apart from that you know one of the joys of film is the fact that you shoot and you move on you shoot and you move on and then you look at them when you when you develop the film develop the film afterwards so I mean we all know what happens you know when you when you take a picture with your digital SLR you know the picture pops up and we look at the back don't we and we're like oh right okay didn't like that and we, we adjust it and we, and we chimp and uh, Generally, it's not as fluid as the experience of film, but you can turn your DSLR into like a black and white film camera with a few settings. Now, this is my 350D Rebel XT, um, but if you go through your instructions manual, you'll find how to do it on your particular camera as well. So, what you can do is, if you go into the menus, I don't know how much of this you'll see, but in the 350D, you go down to the parameters down here, down the bottom. Um, and normally the parameters will be something like um, parameter 1 and what that means is when you take a picture um, it, it, it takes it a nice colour um, and you can see it and you can chimp um, brilliant but what we do we can actually take the parameter and change it to black and white so I'm set up for black and white now so the camera again I, I always shoot in JPEG and there's lots of different ways to do this to do this with RAW as well but I'm just looking at JPEG today so I've set the camera to black and white so it's going to take black and white photographs but what's really cool is that you can also change the filter effect and this is really important so we can simulate the fact that we've put a coloured filter on the front what would normally happen in the film world if you wanted to change the tone of particular colours, you would put a coloured filter on the front. Uh, and an easy example would be if you're out and about taking landscapes on a sunny day and the sky is nice and blue, if you wanted the blue sky to be darker, you would put a red filter on the front of your lens and that would then darken the skies. And you can do it similar like that with digital when we're shooting in black and white so I can go down and, put and say red so there we go so now the camera will take a JPEG it will store it in black and white as it will simulate with the red filter so it will darken anything that's blue so that's really good so now when we take a picture again what we get on the back is we get a black and white image which you may or may not be able to kind of see on the back there but we're still kind of in the digital realm we're taking pictures and reviewing them what you can also do if you're feeling adventurous is go into your menus and find the review time and set it to off. So what's going to happen now is when I take a picture, nothing. There's nothing come up on the LCD at all. So I don't know how it came out. I could cheat, press play and have a look at that. But the idea is now our digital SLR with this fantastic sensor, fantastic lens image stabilisation and everything, is pretending to be a film camera. It's shooting only in black and white, 
it's simulating a red filter on the front and I can change that with a couple of buttons to yellow or green I think there's a blue filter as well your camera most or I can even add a tone as well I didn't look at that did I if we go to um, parameters again go to black and white there's a toning effect there so I can add a sepia tone to my photographs blue purple or green not particularly into that I like just straight grey black and white um, but there we go so if you're feeling you know you want a really footloose and fancy free photo work walk where you're not worrying about what um, the camera does too much and you don't want to spend your time time chimping have a go at that set your camera to black and white JPEGs play around with the filters and turn your review screen off and see what happens. I mean I wouldn't recommend you do it if you're shooting a wedding just do, <laughs> do it for fun but it's quite good because it really does increase the speed of your shooting. You spend a lot less time chimping and more time enjoying your photography. So there we go, that's Rob from RobNonPhoto.com. Thanks for watching.